thank you for having me back, um, everyone. I'll just do two short ones for you. Um, try and keep it a little bit light. Given it's quite, it's quite serious questions I think are being addressed here. So I'm going to talk a bit about Lego. Um, yeah, I suppose this would be. We've looked a lot at things that are happening in the future and this sort of future. Um, I'm basically from the past, to be honest. I, I just haven't really evolved into the new technological age. So this is a little bit about that. Um, yeah. If I ever have a kid. I'm going to play Lego with it, like calling sick to bust out the bricks. Sorry, boss, throat hurts, can barely make words. Right, son, let's get to work. Because I believe in the verb to do more than the verb to have. And as it stands, I believe in hands, learning through self-discovery, turning through trial and error drudgery into collections or compiled codes of constructive, clever muscle memory. My Lego was not a toy, so much as the tangible technicolor manifestation of developing developmental mental connections. It's a gymnasium for young brains. Imagination stands naked on the stage with all the potential of the empty page. No taxation in this state of mind. It's a space and time where we build our foundations by laying foundations of castles and space stations. And if I have a kid, I will pass my collection down like my genetics. Start with the simple parts till fingers limber and can pull apart the harder pieces. From my grandfather to my father, three generations of Stokes and Sizes are imprinted on those blocks. I cut my teeth array in bricks, not playing shit on an Xbox. And it may seem strange for the comparatively baby face to be harping back to the good old days. But on this, I feel my generation were the last to the train as it left the station. The last 20 years could be the greatest period of innovation in history. And we are well rehearsed in words like individuality and creativity to the point that it's beginning to feel prescriptive. All the faces on TV have perfect teeth, but I can smell the stagnation through on these streets. And through gleaming shop fronts, you can see today's Lego kits made out of specific tailored pre-fit bits reflecting latest blockbuster hits. Identikit box sets of The Hobbit and Star Wars. Parents in shopping malls pulling down from the shelves of their kids, just another brick from the wall. We have mastered the instantaneous destination. As 2016 journeys seem to be out of vogue. Do you remember those really awkward triangular blocks that were a nightmare to fit into a row and for a six-year-old kid made Lego the equivalent of the Da Vinci Code? <laughs> I, would take, I would take all of your smartphones, melt them down and recast them into those. There will never be an application to replace an imagination. We are lost in protracted masturbation <laughs> over instantaneous gratification. We're the spoilt children of history, and I fear we're beginning to like it. I want to believe that there are clues to the cure written in braille, in blisters on fingers. And if I have a kid, I will pass down my Lego kit and say, this is where it begins. Best get swift at putting together those blocks, because at the end of the day, we're both building something to be proud of. Thank you. Yeah.